In this class, we'll learn about adding specific lights to outdoor scenes. So let's learn about the daylight system. This is a very complete system for simulating sunlight. We can use it to create daylight and nighttime lighting by applying actual coordinate system data. It defines the specific location of the model on Earth. So let's learn how it works. After opening the design, we'll insert the daylight system in the top viewport by clicking Systems on the Create tab. After releasing the mouse, a hint is displayed recommending the use of the display control. We can't change the light intensity in the daylight system using a multiplier, as in other lights. But afterwards, we'll learn how to adjust this. Just press Yes, and the system settings will enable configuring the position and the time in the scene. It can be configured manually based on the time and date in climate file. Select Date, Time, and Location. Select 12 in hours to define the scene to look as if it were photographed at noon. Select the date, July 6, 2009. In the Get Location command, Let's define the light as Sao Paulo. Select South America in Map and then click Sao Paulo, Brazil. This information defines the displayed light intensity in the scene. Another way to change the intensity in the scene is by assessing exposure control on the render menu and adjust the values on the physical scale. Let's pre-render the scene. See how the light and shadows behave. Now let's clone this scene to compare afterwards. When you look at the floor plan again, you can see position specifications. See the arrow is pointing north. See the wind rose is also in the scene in the daylight system. Based on this information, we can finish the front of the house facing east. Let's rotate our wind rows based on this information. You see how when we rotate the scene, the whole system is updated. In the Daylight Parameters group, change the Sunlight type to Standard and the Sun type to Skylight. We can change the Skylight information to Skylight Parameters. Now let's pre-render again to see the changes. See the shadows and light have changed based on the placement of the light source. After learning more about the external lighting system in 3DS Max, then we'll be able to define these settings for our scene based on the needs of each design. In order to achieve enhanced image results, let's make some changes. Press 8 to change the background color of the image. Let's select light blue.
After defining the image background color, let's define the skylight to apply this background color as a lighting reference. Then in skylight parameters, sky color, define use scene environment. After the sky settings are ready, let's use the light trace tool to help rendering the light concept of objects. Assess the rendering and light trace menu. After opening the screen, change only the bounce field. This field calculates how light bounces on objects. Let's define it as 1. Now after inputting the settings, let's pre-render it again, based on the camera view already present in the scene. So see how the outside image is more appropriate for the mock-up, and it is well lit. So in this class, we have learned about working with 3ds Max Daylight System. Use it to generate quality and lifelike outdoor lighting. We have also learned about defining settings for rendering to achieve good mock-up appearance. Use this to create several points of view and generate beautiful images.